Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for coming to check out this video. If you are returning to my channel, thank you for coming back. If this is your first time looking at one of my videos, thank you. Please go ahead and like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at Google Alerts and the six things that I think everybody should be setting up. So, not just for marketers, this is something that I have used for a very long time for many different reasons. Um, some of them to do with work, some of them to do, to do with my website, some of them to do with personal things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at six things I think everybody should be setting up. Alright, so, let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that we would want to do is go to google.com or google.co.uk, whatever your um, local domain is, and then you're just putting forward slash and then alerts at the top of the URL. And it's going to take us into this quite minimalistic um, area. So we're basically setting up alerts. Now, what we'll see is, because I don't have any alerts set up at this moment for this specific um, account that I'm logged into, then there's nothing there but it's suggesting a couple of things. So this is a tied to Google, therefore you must have a Google account. So um, we can see here that I have my lovely Jane Doe. She's my, um, she is the person that I'm logged into Google with in this Google account. So what it's suggesting, first of all, is saying me on the web. So it's got Jane Doe and then also you could search for the email address being used. So Jane Doe, okay, let's go ahead and let's just add that. So what happens there is it gives us a preview of what the alerts might look like. So obviously Jane Doe, it's not really going to be what I'm searching for. So, so if I remove that and I put Megan V Walker, just so you can see what happens. So I've got Megan V Walker. And I've got some, some things that are coming up, but what we've also got is you can see here that it's got, here's Megan Walker, Megan Kayla Walker, blah, blah, blah. It's got other things that have nothing to do with me, even though I know Megan V Walker is probably pretty unique. So what I need to do is I need to put double quotes around that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to see that it is filtering and it's just showing things that are that exact match. So the reason for this is I want to know if my name is mentioned somewhere. For me personally, it's because I want to see if I've been mentioned on other people's blog posts or linked to from anywhere else. Um, and I found tons of things that I didn't know were out there just by doing this and getting an alert every time something gets pushed out to the internet and I, and I can find that. Now what I've got is I've got options how often so I say, as it happens, it depends what you're searching for, because if you're looking for something that's a generic term, like marketing or um, uh, Bitcoin or whatever it might be, then you're going to get tons if you do as it happens. So you can do kind of like a, a, a sort of summary email, if you will. So you could have maybe like once a week or something like that. Um, then what are the sources? So if you are only interested in if you appear in the news or something like that, then you can you can filter it and say, this is what I want to be looked in within um, uh, the internet. Um, the language, region, um, only the best results, I want all results. And then where do I want to deliver it to? I can have it delivered to my email address or to an RSS feed. So then I'm just going to go ahead and I click create an alert and then it puts it in there. So what that means is anytime that is um, that phrase is mentioned, I'm going to get an email. So another thing is um, it, in terms of like putting your own name in, that's one thing. But um, when I, I used to live in America and my stepson... Um, uh, lived with us, he was a teenager, and I put his name in there just in case it came up somewhere. So there's that aspect as well, is checking other people and seeing is something going on with those people. If you're looking for somebody, um, you know, a long lost relative or something like that, you can do the same thing. So there's loads of different reasons for that. Number two, your phone number. So, if you are working somewhere, you could be putting your business phone. Um, if you're not and you want to check, you could put your own phone number. So I, um, I'm not going to put mine in. So I can put in 
a number and again I can put it in quotes so that it's saying this exact um, phone number um, so we can see here that actually we've got some results that are coming up but for me this is this is something that could also be really useful for, for a parent and I'm not talking about checking up on your children in a sneaky way for me this is important especially if you have much younger children that could be sharing their number out online somewhere is knowing that that number is being used somewhere. So I think that that's important, especially if you've got really young kids, making sure that they're safe. Um, but also, like I said, from a business perspective, is is that number being used? Maybe you're just starting out as a business and you want to see is somebody sharing that information. So yes, your phone number, I think, is a good idea for many reasons. So we just go ahead and add it. And we can see here we're sort of getting that list of alerts. The next thing is if you have one your website so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in again I'm going to do it in quotes I'm going to do meganvwalker.com so this is not only going to pull up things um, where my website has been linked which is helpful so I can see um, that if my website URL has been used anywhere but what this also does which is for me more important is it helps me know how frequently or when my blog posts have been indexed so what that means is when it gets published how quickly is Google actually finding it and then potentially moving it up the search engines so doing that anytime I post a blog post and I publish it then usually within a day I'm getting an email that's, that is a Google alert that basically is an alert for that blog post. Yes, I know I published it, but that's telling me how quickly Google is finding it. So I find that really, really useful. Um, you might also, again, want to know if your business website has been mentioned anywhere, your company, um, you could put in your Twitter um, URL, you could put in whatever, but something to track to know that that's been mentioned somewhere else. Sometimes that's a good thing, sometimes it's also negative. It could be that somebody has used um, a link to one of my blog posts and I don't know about it or they're using some of my content. So, really good um, thing to set up, even if you're not a marketer, putting in a URL and tracking that. So, let's go ahead and create that. Okay, so number four, your competitors. Now, your competitors, you can use that in any sort of sense of the word. If you are doing marketing for an organization, then yes, you're going to have competitors. You're going to have other people that you want to track and see what's going on with their business so that you're aware of, of news about them, changes, acquisitions, whatever it might be. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in my lovely uh, competitor, not really, but somebody else that does marketing. So Amy Holden. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that in. So this is, again, tracking to see whenever this person has been mentioned. Now, with this, Amy has uh, a unique spelling of Amy, so she's got an E in it, so it's less likely that there are going to be other things coming up. Um, however, depending on who your competitors are, you might have to kind of like filter some things out um, and when you're getting those alerts. With something like that, I would tend to probably say, um, uh, with that one, where are we? Uh, maybe at once most a week, um, so that you're then getting a summary. So I have that with um, Microsoft Dynamics 365 and CRM. I have that as a, a weekly summary that comes through so I can kind of see what's new, what's going on, that kind of thing. So, tracking competitors, we can go ahead and we can put as many of those in as we want to as well. All right, so number five, what we can also use this for is just important keywords, things that matter to us that we want to make sure we're getting alerted on. So, it could be, um, real-time marketing that's what I'm interested in so I could go ahead and I could do said real-time marketing so I can put that in there so I can see ooh there's two things um, let's go ahead and actually if we remove the quotes we can see ooh. so that is basically saying it needs to have either either real-time or marketing 
Um, we could also do uh, B365 marketing. So let's put that in quotes. And and Microsoft. So now we're saying that it must have D365 marketing and it must have Microsoft in there. So then, hopefully, our results, which they seem to be, um, have D365 marketing in them and also have um, Microsoft. So we can go even further and we can kind of use Booleans, we can do and or that kind of thing. So that means I'm only going to get the, the alerts if it's got those specific keywords in there. So you can think about the keywords that are relevant to you and, and again, this is not just for people that are doing marketing. It could be if you're in sales, you're wanting to track and see what's going on in your sort of industry or your competitors, that kind of thing. So it's what's important. It could also be your hobby. Maybe you love Minecraft or maybe you are into the latest knitting patterns, whatever it might be. You can do that and put in those keywords um, so that you get alerts when they've come up. All right, so number six, for me, this is basically tracking anything else that is interesting or personal data about yourself. So this could be something like setting up a, um, an alert for your social security number if you're in America, or your national insurance number, or your email address, or anything like that, that if it got found anywhere, that means that that data is being exposed and somebody has put it somewhere and you should really be aware of it. So you're kind of using it um, a, a, almost as like a, a bit of a sort of fraud check or something like that. So I might put in hello at meganvwalker.com uh, and yes, it's in this <laughs> in a few places. So that's something where I want to know if it's been used. Now, that is um, just a few examples of some alerts that you can set up. Essentially, you're just putting in keywords, you're tracking stuff, and then if it's on Google's search engines and it's in actually made the search engines towards the top, then you're going to get alerts about it. So. It's not anything to do with Bing or any other search engine. It's basically Google, as it you would expect. It's Google Alerts. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you using Google Alerts right now? Is it something that you think you might start using? Or have you got any suggestions? How are you using it? Let us know in the comments below so other people can see as well. I'd love to know how you're using it. I It, it is something that I use all the time and set up alerts for, and again, it's allowed me to know when I've been mentioned, when something's come up on another website, sometimes good, sometimes bad in terms of knowing someone's using your content, and also to be able to thank someone and say, hey, thanks for sharing, or thanks for mentioning me, or whatever it might be. So let me know in the comments below, and also if you'd like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe. It means a lot when you do. It also helps um, with the algorithms uh, for YouTube so that my content will be shown to more people. That would be fantastic. So thank you for watching. Take care. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.